Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we have a question from one of our YouTube subscribers. They ask, oh, I get so confused with LCM and GCF, and how do you find them, and what are they really for? Well, let's do a quick analysis and go through about this one. To send your own questions, please consider subscribing our channel. All right, let's do the easy one first. So here I have two numbers, it's 18 and 30. I use the number tree over here to break it down into prime numbers, 233 for 18 and 235 for 30. Greatest common factor is really easy to find. And once you break it down, all you're looking for are common things. Two and two is common, put it down here. Three and three is common, put it down here. 3 and 5, it's not common, it doesn't go in there because it's called a common factor. And the greatest one is means you pick every single one of them that's common. So for our 16, uh, for our 18 and 30, greatest common factor is 6. Now, what do we use it for? It's really simple. When we simple simplify fractions, 18 and 30, if we know greatest common factor is 6, we can just divide it in one scoop. Um, 16 divide, 18 divided by 6 is 3, 30 divided by 6 is 5. Otherwise, if we didn't know that, we're going to have to divide it. Well, let's see, 2 is common, so that's 9 over 15. And then we see, well, wait a minute, 3 is common, let's divide it one more time. So the final answer is still going to be 3 over 5, but knowing greatest common factor saves you a lot of time, especially if the greatest common factor has a lot of factors in it. All right, now let's take a look at the little more complicated LCM on next one. Least common multiple. It's a little more complicated, but nothing you can't handle. What we need to do here is we're going to put a, this exponential. It's a fancy term to see there's a hat on it, duplicate. So 2 is duplicated once, 3 is duplicated twice. On 30 over here, 2 is duplicated once. 3 duplicated ones and 5 duplicated ones. In finding the common multiple, we want the smallest. We don't want to spend more than we have to. So in, in, in order to find the multiple, we have to include everything, every single uh, different number that shows up between 18 and 30, the prime numbers. However, since we're trying to find the least, the smallest, when it comes to 3, we need to cover the two, not just the one. We don't need to cover both of the threes, but since this one for 18, three needs a hat of two. Uh, I call this hat. It looks like it's on a hat position. So find the least common multiple between 18 and 30. Two, we just need to cover once. Both of them agree on. And if they don't agree, we need to cover the uh, larger one because if we cover this one then this three needs another three that's not covered so three needs to cover two five it's not even covered here but we need to cover five to the one to cover the 30. so basically when you're finding the common multiple the smallest one you want to cover every single prime numbers and their their largest hat so every single prime numbers two, three, five, and largest hat. The only difference is that we need to cover the two, not the one here. For our particular case, it's 90 over here. Let me show you another way to find common multiple and uh, we can spot what the least one is. It's cumbersome, it's long, but it will make more sense. Another way to find the smallest common multiple between 18 and 30 is literally write down the multiple of 18 and multiple of 30. So here I listed them and you can see the smallest the first time it's in common for both of those numbers in multiples is 90. Now this process gets pretty tedious if you have three or four numbers. That's why we use this uh, shortcut over here. Once again, cover all the prime numbers, take the highest hat. Okay, now next one, let's cover why do we need to find the least common multiple. Right, the reason we use the least common multiple is to basically find a common denominators for adding a subtraction of fractions. So for example, our two numbers, 18 and 30, since we know 90 is the smallest common multiple, we see that uh, by multiply by 5, 18 becomes 90, multiply 3 by 30, and that becomes 90 as well. So 1 over 18 gets converted into 1 over 18 times 5 and 5, so 1 and 5 
it goes over there. 1 over 30 becomes 1 over 30 times 3 over 3. So for, for our final answer over here, we're going to have uh, 3 over here for one of them and 5 for the other one. So we have 8 plus 3. Let's simplify and that gives us the final answer. As you can see, the greatest common factor between those two is only 2, so the top becomes 4 and the bottom becomes 45 when we divide it by top and bottom by 2. Well, I hope this explains everything you need to know. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.